Well, while on patrol in Iraq, I was headed uh, from west to east on near the city of Ramadi on a main surface road. And it was about 9.30 in the morning and uh, 28th of February to 2005. Uh, roadside bomb was detonated on my left side. I was driving that day. Um, my hand was severed right at the, it was still on the steering wheel. I was born without the lower left arm, just congenital amputee. I uh, got a prosthesis when I was six months old uh, through the Shriners Hospital and have worn a prosthesis ever since. I mean, it looked like Terminator. It sounds like Terminator, you know, like just the, uh, it really looks futuristic. I mean, it really does feel like it has all the possibilities that my regular hand has. So my expectation was okay, I'm gonna get this arm and it's gonna be able to do cool things, but it's gonna be real heavy and it's gonna be bulky and it's, there's gonna be, it may be able to do these things, but it's gonna take a lot of work. And what's been cool about it is it's real easy. I mean, it's no different as far as like the muscle structure, having to be able to open and close with just the two muscles. That's exactly the same as it's always been for me using a Mayo. But it's amazing just using an open and close, it has the ability to do I mean, no, so many more things that you can't do with just a Mayo. And I, all I'm doing is using the same two muscles and it's real easy. So that's real fun and it's, and it's light.